Have you ever felt trapped by your own emotions, like they control every move you make? Have you imagined what it would be like to live more freely, not being swept away by internal turmoil? Emotional detachment offers the key to this liberation. Picture yourself facing each day's challenges calmly, maintaining inner peace even in life's storms. In this guide, we invite you to embark on a journey of transformation. We will explore the power of emotional detachment, a skill that can revolutionize your mental well-being and your relationships. Discover how science explains this approach and learn practical techniques to integrate it into your life. Together, we will clarify the distinction between detachment and indifference and explore how to apply it across various aspects of your daily life. Are you prepared to push past your emotional boundaries and find a path to a more balanced and satisfying life? Join us on this journey and get ready to profoundly change your relationship with your emotions, living with a lighter heart and a more serene mind. Emotional detachment, cultivating inner harmony. Emotional detachment is a crucial skill for maintaining mental and emotional well-being. It allows us to handle our emotions in a healthy manner, preventing them from overpowering our lives with negativity. Rather than avoiding or suppressing emotions, emotional detachment encourages us to approach them thoughtfully, enabling us to understand them without being consumed by them. This practice invites us to acknowledge our emotions, accept their presence, and manage them constructively. By doing so, we can maintain a calm demeanor in the face of challenges and adversity. Developing skills in self-awareness and self-regulation are key components of emotional detachment, empowering us to respond to life situations with clarity and wisdom. Emotional detachment forms a solid foundation for appreciating its significance and benefits across various aspects of life. Embracing emotional detachment fosters a more enriching and satisfying existence, enabling us to engage with the world and others in a balanced and empathetic manner. It introduces us not only to the practice itself, but also sets the stage for exploring its profound impact on our personal growth and relationships. In this context, detachment does not signify an absence of emotions, but rather a way of living fully with an open heart and a clear mind. It teaches us to cherish the present moment without clinging excessively to the past or fretting excessively about the future. By embracing emotional detachment, we can construct a more harmonious and fulfilling life where emotional well-being is steadfast and inner peace becomes second nature. The Neuroscience Behind Emotional Detachment Exploring the neuroscience of emotional detachment offers intriguing insights into how our brain manages emotions, highlighting its profound impact on psychological well-being. Understanding these brain processes helps us grasp why detachment is crucial for fostering emotional balance and resilience. Our brain operates through a sophisticated network of interconnected regions, each with specific roles in emotion regulation. At the forefront of this network is the prefrontal cortex, situated at the front of the brain. This region plays a pivotal role in rational thinking, decision-making and executive control. It enables us to assess situations, plan our responses and regulate our emotional reactions effectively. Within the prefrontal cortex, the dorsolateral prefrontal cortex, DLPFC, is particularly crucial for emotional regulation. It helps us inhibit impulsive emotional responses and engage in more reasoned, goal-directed behavior. Studies have shown that individuals with better DLPFC function tend to exhibit greater emotional resilience and are better able to detach themselves from overwhelming emotional experiences. Moreover, the anterior cingulate cortex, ACC, another key region involved in emotion processing, plays a role in monitoring conflicts and errors, as well as regulating emotional responses. It helps in detecting discrepancies between expected and actual outcomes, which is essential for adjusting emotional reactions 
in varying situations. Neurotransmitters, such as serotonin and dopamine, also play significant roles in emotional regulation and detachment. Serotonin, known as the feel-good neurotransmitter, influences mood and social behavior. It helps to stabilize emotions and prevent excessive reactions to emotional stimuli. Dopamine, on the other hand, is involved in reward-motivated behavior and pleasure, but it also contributes to maintaining emotional balance by modulating responses to emotional stimuli. In addition to these neurobiological factors, psychological factors such as mindfulness and cognitive restructuring play critical roles in cultivating emotional detachment. Mindfulness practices enhance awareness of one's emotions without becoming overly absorbed in them, fostering a balanced perspective on emotional experiences. Cognitive restructuring techniques involve identifying and challenging irrational beliefs or distorted thought patterns that contribute to heightened emotional responses. Cultural and social influences also shape the way emotional detachment is perceived and practiced. In some cultures, emotional restraint and detachment are valued as signs of maturity and self-control, whereas in others, emotional expressiveness is encouraged as a means of fostering social cohesion and support. Understanding the neuroscience of emotional detachment not only sheds light on the intricate mechanisms underlying human emotions, but also underscores its importance in mental health and well-being. By learning to regulate our emotions effectively, we can enhance our resilience in the face of adversity, improve our interpersonal relationships, and promote overall psychological flourishing. This knowledge empowers individuals to cultivate a healthier relationship with their emotions, harnessing the power of emotional detachment as a tool for personal growth and emotional stability. Emotional detachment is a nuanced psychological skill that involves consciously distancing oneself from immediate emotional reactions in order to engage the prefrontal cortex more effectively. This deliberate practice not only allows individuals to navigate challenging situations with greater resilience, but also enhances their ability to regulate emotions in a healthy manner. The prefrontal cortex, a key region of the brain responsible for executive functions like decision-making and emotional regulation, plays a pivotal role in emotional detachment. Through repeated engagement, individuals strengthen neural pathways associated with cognitive control which enables them to respond to emotions in a more balanced and thoughtful manner. This process is crucial in managing stress effectively and maintaining composure during emotionally charged encounters. Contrary to common misconceptions, emotional detachment does not involve suppressing emotions altogether. Instead, it emphasizes the importance of regulating emotions appropriately. This distinction is significant because it allows individuals to acknowledge and understand their feelings without being overwhelmed by them. By cultivating emotional detachment, individuals learn to observe their emotions from a more objective standpoint, which can facilitate clearer thinking and more effective problem solving. Research underscores that emotional detachment contributes to mental well-being by fostering adaptive coping strategies. When confronted with stressful or emotionally taxing situations, individuals with well-developed emotional detachment skills can maintain a sense of inner calm and clarity. This ability is closely tied to the prefrontal cortex's function in inhibiting impulsive responses and promoting a deliberate approach to decision-making. Moreover, emotional detachment is instrumental in fostering healthier interpersonal relationships. By reducing the immediate influence of intense emotions, individuals can communicate more effectively, resolve conflicts more peacefully, and empathize with others without being overwhelmed by their own emotional reactions. This aspect is particularly beneficial in professional settings where maintaining professionalism and clarity of judgment are essential. Practicing emotional detachment is not an overnight achievement, but rather a gradual process that involves self-awareness, mindfulness, and consistent effort. 
Techniques such as mindfulness meditation, cognitive restructuring, and emotional awareness exercises can all contribute to developing stronger emotional detachment skills over time. These practices help individuals cultivate a greater sense of emotional resilience, enabling them to face life's challenges with a more balanced perspective. Moreover, emotional detachment not only serves as a tool for personal growth, but also contributes significantly to improved mental health outcomes. It plays a crucial role in helping individuals maintain a healthy perspective amidst life's challenges. By cultivating emotional detachment, individuals can prevent overwhelming emotions from clouding their judgment or causing unnecessary distress. This balanced approach to emotional experiences supports overall well-being by reducing the risk of developing chronic stress-related conditions. Interestingly, research in neuroscience provides further insights into how practices like mindfulness and meditation can enhance emotional detachment. These techniques have been shown to induce structural changes in the brain, particularly in areas responsible for emotion regulation and self-awareness. Through regular mindfulness practice, individuals can cultivate a heightened awareness of their emotional states. This heightened awareness allows them to observe their emotions without being consumed by them, thereby enhancing their ability to respond thoughtfully and constructively to challenging situations. Mindfulness, in particular, encourages individuals to acknowledge and accept their emotions without judgment. This non-judgmental stance fosters emotional resilience by promoting a more flexible and adaptive response to stressors. As individuals become more adept at emotional detachment through mindfulness, they can experience greater emotional stability and inner peace. This stability not only benefits their mental health, but also enhances their overall quality of life. Moreover, emotional detachment can empower individuals to maintain healthier relationships. By learning to detach from overwhelming emotions, people can engage with others more objectively and empathetically. This ability to step back emotionally can prevent conflicts from escalating unnecessarily and promote more effective communication and problem solving within relationships. In professional settings, emotional detachment can be particularly advantageous. It allows individuals to make decisions based on rational analysis rather than being swayed by fleeting emotions. This capacity for detachment can enhance leadership qualities by enabling individuals to remain composed and focused during challenging situations. Leaders who practice emotional detachment are often perceived as more resilient and capable of navigating complex organizational dynamics effectively. Furthermore, emotional detachment does not imply suppressing emotions or becoming indifferent to them. Instead, it involves developing a healthy relationship with one's emotions, acknowledging them while maintaining perspective and control. This nuanced approach fosters emotional intelligence, which is crucial for personal growth and interpersonal effectiveness. The amygdala, often hailed as the brain's vigilant sentinel, operates as a central hub within the limbic system, tirelessly scanning our surroundings for potential threats. Situated deep within the temporal lobes, this almond-shaped structure orchestrates a symphony of responses when danger looms, whether tangible or perceived. Its role transcends mere perception. It catalyzes a complex cascade of physiological and emotional reactions that are integral to our survival and well-being. When the amygdala perceives a threat, it swiftly mobilizes the body's resources for action. This includes triggering the release of stress hormones like adrenaline and cortisol, which prime the body for a fight or flight response. Heart rate accelerates, muscles tense, and senses sharpen, all in preparation to confront the threat or evade it. This primal reaction, deeply ingrained through millennia of evolution, underscores the amygdala's evolutionary importance in ensuring the survival of our ancestors. Yet, the amygdala's influence extends beyond fear alone. It plays a pivotal role in processing emotions across the spectrum, 
from joy to sorrow, from excitement to anxiety. Through its intricate connections with other brain regions, particularly the prefrontal cortex and the hippocampus, the amygdala helps contextualize emotional experiences and memories. This interplay is crucial for learning and decision-making, as it integrates emotional responses with cognitive processes, shaping our behaviors and responses to future situations. Furthermore, the amygdala's involvement in emotional regulation is profound. Research suggests that abnormalities or dysfunctions in the amygdala may contribute to various psychiatric disorders, including anxiety disorders, post-traumatic stress disorder, PTSD, and depression. Understanding these neural circuits not only enhances our comprehension of mental health, but also informs therapeutic interventions aimed at restoring balance within the emotional landscape. In contrast to the amygdala's swift instinctual reactions, the hippocampus provides a counterbalance by anchoring emotional experiences within the framework of memory. Situated adjacent to the amygdala, this seahorse-shaped structure processes and consolidates memories, particularly those associated with emotions. It serves as a crucial node in the brain's intricate network, facilitating the encoding, storage, and retrieval of information tied to our experiences. The hippocampus's role in memory formation is multifaceted. It not only captures the details of events, but also contextualizes them within our personal narrative. This integration of emotional experiences into memory is essential for learning from past events and adapting our behaviors accordingly. Through its connections with the amygdala and other cortical regions, the hippocampus helps weave together the fabric of our autobiographical memory, enriching our sense of identity and self-awareness. Moreover, the hippocampus exhibits remarkable neuroplasticity throughout life, allowing it to adapt and reorganize in response to new experiences and environmental stimuli. This plasticity underscores its role not only in memory formation, but also in spatial navigation and cognitive flexibility. Studies have shown that factors such as stress, aging, and neurodegenerative diseases can impact hippocampal function, highlighting its vulnerability and the importance of fostering brain health across the lifespan. Together, the amygdala and the hippocampus form a dynamic duo within the limbic system, collaborating to weave the intricate tapestry of human emotions and memories. Their interdependent functions illustrate the profound interplay between emotion, cognition and behavior, fundamental aspects of what makes us uniquely human. As research continues to unravel the complexities of these neural networks, it offers insights into how we perceive the world, navigate our emotions, and ultimately construct our own narratives of existence. Complementing the amygdala's vigilance is the hippocampus, a structure crucial for the formation of emotional memories. The hippocampus not only processes and stores information linked to emotions, but also plays a pivotal role in contextualizing these emotions. By encoding the situational details surrounding emotional experiences, the hippocampus allows us to recall and learn from past experiences laden with emotional significance. This contextual memory enables us to differentiate between safe and threatening situations, thus shaping our responses to similar circumstances in the future. Whether these memories are joyful or sorrowful, they profoundly influence our emotional resilience and coping mechanisms, teaching us to navigate the complexities of our emotional landscape. The dynamic interplay between the limbic system and the prefrontal cortex, the brain's center for higher cognitive functions, is fundamental to understanding emotional detachment. Situated just behind the forehead, the prefrontal cortex acts as an executive control center, exerting a moderating influence over the limbic system's instinctual responses. This neural regulation enables us to manage our emotions consciously fostering a balanced and thoughtful approach to emotional stimuli. The prefrontal cortex is involved in decision-making, problem-solving, and the modulation of social behavior, 
all of which are crucial for emotional regulation. This interaction between the limbic system and the prefrontal cortex allows for a nuanced understanding of emotional detachment. Emotional detachment is not merely a lack of emotional response, but rather a sophisticated mechanism where the prefrontal cortex exerts control to regulate and sometimes inhibit the immediate emotional reactions generated by the limbic system. This ability to regulate emotions is essential for maintaining mental health and well-being. For instance, in stressful situations, the prefrontal cortex can help us remain calm and composed by suppressing the panic signals from the amygdala, thereby preventing an overreaction that could exacerbate the situation. Moreover, the prefrontal cortex's role in emotional regulation extends to the ability to reinterpret and reframe emotional experiences. Through cognitive reappraisal, a strategy where we change the way we think about a situation to alter its emotional impact, the prefrontal cortex helps us manage our emotional responses more effectively. This is particularly beneficial in dealing with negative emotions such as fear, anger and sadness, allowing us to maintain a more positive outlook and resilience in the face of adversity. In addition, the integration of sensory inputs and memories by the hippocampus contributes to our understanding of emotional experiences. By linking new experiences with past memories, the hippocampus helps us predict future outcomes and make informed decisions. This process is crucial for learning and adaptation, as it enables us to avoid past mistakes and replicate behaviours that have led to positive outcomes. The ability to draw on a rich repository of emotional memories thus enhances our capacity to navigate complex social environments and maintain emotional stability. The synergistic relationship between the hippocampus, amygdala and prefrontal cortex underscores the complexity of our emotional processes. It highlights the importance of both memory and higher cognitive functions in shaping our emotional responses. Understanding this interplay can provide valuable insights into various psychological conditions, such as anxiety and depression, where these neural mechanisms may be dysregulated. It also emphasizes the potential for therapeutic interventions that target these brain regions to enhance emotional regulation and mental health. Scientific inquiry into emotional detachment underscores its profound benefits for mental well-being. Researchers have documented that regular practice of emotional detachment techniques can significantly lower stress levels and enhance emotional resilience. Individuals adept at detachment tend to navigate adversity more gracefully, exhibiting greater adaptability and quicker recovery from stressful events. This resilience is not merely psychological, but also neurobiological, as studies indicate that such practices can induce positive structural and functional changes in the brain, promoting enduring emotional health and stability. Neuroscientific findings reveal that consistent engagement in activities that promote emotional detachment, such as mindfulness and cognitive reframing, can lead to measurable changes in brain structure and function. These changes often include increased activity in regions of the prefrontal cortex responsible for emotional regulation and decreased reactivity in the amygdala during stressful situations. Over time, these neural adaptations support a more balanced emotional state, enabling individuals to respond to challenges with greater equanimity and clarity. The advantages of emotional detachment. Emotional detachment offers a multitude of benefits that profoundly influence our approach to challenges and our interactions with the world. Integrating emotional detachment into our daily lives can lead to significant improvements in our mental and emotional well-being. Enhanced mental clarity. One of the primary advantages of emotional detachment is the enhancement of mental clarity. When we disengage from negative emotions and obsessive thoughts, our minds become clearer and more focused. This newfound clarity empowers us to make reasoned decisions with greater ease. Whether it's handling daily tasks, 
or pursuing long-term objectives, clarity of mind boosts our efficiency and effectiveness. By freeing ourselves from emotional entanglements, we allow our minds to operate with heightened precision and objectivity. This clarity not only improves our decision-making, but also enhances our ability to see situations from multiple perspectives, leading to more informed choices and outcomes. Reduced stress and anxiety. Emotional detachment can significantly reduce stress and anxiety levels. When we detach from intense emotional reactions, we lessen the impact of stressors on our mental and physical well-being. This doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather gaining a sense of control over them. By maintaining a balanced perspective and not becoming overly invested in every emotional fluctuation, we create a buffer against stress. This resilience enables us to navigate challenging situations more calmly and effectively, promoting overall emotional stability. Improved relationships. Surprisingly, emotional detachment can also contribute to healthier relationships. When we are less emotionally reactive, we can communicate more clearly and empathetically with others. We are better able to listen actively and respond thoughtfully, rather than reacting impulsively based on emotions. This fosters deeper connections built on understanding and mutual respect. Additionally, emotional detachment helps us set boundaries and avoid becoming overly dependent or enmeshed in relationships, which can lead to more balanced and sustainable connections over time. Enhanced problem-solving skills. Emotional detachment fosters improved problem-solving skills. By approaching challenges with a clear and objective mindset, we can analyze situations more rationally and explore diverse solutions. Emotions often cloud judgment and limit our ability to consider alternatives objectively. With emotional detachment, we can step back from immediate emotional reactions and focus on finding effective solutions. This skill is invaluable in both personal and professional contexts, as it allows for more creative problem solving and strategic decision making increased self-awareness and personal growth. Practicing emotional detachment encourages greater self-awareness and personal growth. By observing our emotions without being consumed by them, we develop a deeper understanding of ourselves and our triggers. This awareness enables us to address underlying issues more effectively and cultivate healthier emotional responses over time. Emotional detachment encourages introspection and mindfulness, which are crucial for personal development and emotional resilience. Promotion of emotional resilience. Finally, emotional detachment promotes emotional resilience. It equips us with the ability to bounce back from setbacks and adversities more quickly. Rather than being overwhelmed by negative emotions during challenging times, we can maintain composure and focus on constructive actions. This resilience is vital for navigating life's ups and downs with greater equanimity and confidence. Additionally, emotional detachment not only fosters personal resilience, but also enhances interpersonal relationships, thus contributing significantly to overall well-being and growth. Firstly, emotional detachment is a key attribute in building resilience. It equips individuals with the ability to confront and manage difficult situations without being consumed by negative emotions. This capacity is vital for personal development as it allows one to maintain composure and clarity during challenging times. By practicing emotional detachment, individuals can view setbacks and obstacles as opportunities for learning and growth rather than insurmountable barriers. This mindset shift not only promotes mental fortitude, but also fosters a sense of inner strength and confidence. Moreover, emotional detachment plays a crucial role in fostering healthier interpersonal relationships. When individuals release unrealistic expectations and let go of past resentments, they are better able to engage with others authentically and empathetically. This shift in perspective enables genuine connections based on mutual understanding and acceptance, rather than control or manipulation. 
By appreciating and respecting others for who they are, without trying to change them, emotional detachment promotes a supportive environment where relationships can thrive. Another significant advantage of emotional detachment lies in its profound contribution to overall well-being and tranquility. When we free ourselves from the grip of overpowering emotions, we open up space for inner peace that can permeate every aspect of our existence. This tranquility allows us to fully immerse ourselves in the present moment, unencumbered by the weight of past regrets or the apprehension of future uncertainties. Emotional detachment further enhances our ability to concentrate effectively on both personal and professional goals. Freed from the turbulence of unchecked emotions, we can direct our energy towards meaningful endeavors. This focused approach enables us to pursue our objectives with heightened efficiency and deep satisfaction. Whether in career aspirations, personal growth, or interpersonal relationships, this clarity of purpose becomes instrumental in achieving success and fulfillment across various domains of life. Moreover, emotional detachment fosters resilience in the face of adversity. Rather than being swept away by emotional turbulence during challenging times, we maintain a balanced perspective and the ability to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. This resilience not only helps in navigating difficulties, but also strengthens our capacity for empathy and understanding towards others who may be experiencing their own emotional struggles. In addition to personal resilience, emotional detachment cultivates healthier relationships. By maintaining a balanced emotional state, we become more adept at listening attentively, communicating effectively, and offering genuine support to those around us. This ability to connect authentically fosters deeper bonds and mutual trust, enhancing the quality of our interactions and the satisfaction derived from our relationships. Furthermore, emotional detachment contributes to mental clarity and decision-making prowess. When emotions are not clouding our judgment, we can evaluate situations more objectively and make decisions that align with our long-term goals and values. This clarity prevents impulsive or irrational choices driven solely by momentary feelings, ensuring that our actions are deliberate and purposeful. Additionally, emotional detachment can be a source of personal growth and self-discovery. By observing our emotions from a distance, we gain insight into our habitual patterns of reaction and the underlying motivations driving our behavior. This self-awareness allows us to consciously choose how we respond to challenges and opportunities, fostering continuous development and a deeper understanding of ourselves. Understanding the contrast between detachment and indifference. Emotional detachment, often misunderstood as indifference, actually represents a sophisticated approach to emotional management that can profoundly impact our well-being. It involves a conscious decision to engage with emotions in a balanced and controlled manner rather than being overwhelmed by them. Here's a deeper exploration to clarify the distinction between emotional detachment and indifference and to highlight its valuable contributions to mental and emotional health. Understanding emotional detachment versus indifference. One, nature and intent, emotional detachment. This is a proactive and intentional practice where individuals acknowledge their emotions without allowing them to dictate their actions or overwhelm their psyche. It involves a high degree of self-awareness and emotional intelligence, allowing individuals to process their feelings in a healthy and constructive manner. Indifference, in contrast, indifference typically reflects a lack of concern or interest altogether. It often stems from disengagement rather than a deliberate effort to manage emotions. Indifference may arise from apathy, avoidance, or a defense mechanism against emotional pain. Two, emotional health impact. Emotional detachment encourages individuals to maintain inner equilibrium and stability, even in challenging emotional circumstances. By accepting and understanding their emotions, 
individuals can navigate difficult situations without being consumed by negative feelings. This fosters resilience and promotes mental well-being over the long term. Indifference can lead to a numbing of emotions and a disconnection from one's own experiences and those of others. While indifference may offer temporary relief from emotional turmoil, it does not contribute positively to mental health in the long run and can hinder personal growth and relationships. The practice of emotional detachment. One, self-awareness and acceptance. Emotional detachment begins with a deep understanding of one's emotional landscape. It involves recognizing and accepting emotions as they arise without judgment or suppression. Individuals practicing emotional detachment learn to observe their feelings objectively, allowing them to respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. 2. Constructive processing. Rather than ignoring or burying emotions, emotional detachment encourages individuals to process them constructively. This might involve journaling, talking to a trusted friend or therapist, or engaging in mindfulness practices. By acknowledging emotions and their underlying causes, individuals can make informed decisions and maintain clarity in their thoughts and actions. 3. Maintaining inner equilibrium. Central to emotional detachment is the ability to maintain a sense of inner peace and stability regardless of external circumstances. This resilience allows individuals to navigate life's ups and downs with greater ease, fostering a sense of control and empowerment over their emotional well-being. Benefits of emotional detachment. One, improved relationships. Emotionally detached individuals often have healthier relationships because they can communicate effectively and manage conflicts without being overwhelmed by emotions. They are better able to empathize with others while maintaining healthy boundaries. Two, enhanced decision-making. By approaching situations with clarity and objectivity, emotionally detached individuals make decisions that are grounded in rationality rather than emotional impulsivity. This leads to more thoughtful and strategic choices in both personal and professional contexts. 3. Long-term mental well-being. Practicing emotional detachment contributes to overall mental resilience and well-being. It reduces stress levels and promotes a positive outlook on life. Individuals are less likely to experience burnout or emotional exhaustion because they have developed effective coping mechanisms. In contrast to detachment, which fosters healthy emotional engagement and conscious interaction with the world, Indifference represents a more profound disconnection. Indifference is characterized by a lack of interest, emotional numbness, and a disengagement from both personal emotions and the feelings of others. It often serves as a defense mechanism, shielding individuals from painful experiences or overwhelming emotions. However, while detachment allows individuals to navigate their emotional landscapes with clarity and compassion, Indifference signals a troubling absence of emotional responsiveness. Indifference can stem from various sources, including unresolved trauma, chronic stress, or underlying mental health issues such as depression or apathy. It manifests as a pervasive emotional detachment that extends beyond specific situations, impacting how individuals relate to their own feelings and the emotions of those around them. Unlike detachment, which enables individuals to maintain a balanced perspective and engage with emotions thoughtfully, indifference creates a barrier that isolates individuals from meaningful connections and deeper emotional experiences. From a psychological perspective, indifference reflects a state of emotional shutdown where individuals may no longer recognize or respond to their own feelings or the emotions of others. This detachment can lead to a sense of numbness or emptiness, where the capacity for empathy and meaningful interpersonal relationships is compromised. Over time, sustained indifference may contribute to a cycle of isolation and disconnection, further exacerbating feelings of loneliness or alienation. In terms of mental health, 
Indifference often indicates underlying issues that require attention and support. It can be a symptom of depression, where individuals experience a pervasive sense of hopelessness or apathy towards life. Addressing indifference involves recognizing its impact on personal well-being and relationships, and seeking appropriate therapeutic interventions to re-establish emotional connection and resilience. Furthermore, indifference contrasts sharply with detachment in its outcomes for mental health and interpersonal dynamics. While healthy detachment allows individuals to navigate challenges with clarity and empathy, indifference deprives individuals of the richness of emotional experience and the fulfillment of meaningful connections. Recognizing the difference between these states is crucial for fostering emotional health and nurturing relationships that are based on genuine empathy and understanding. Conversely, while emotional detachment can foster resilience and balance in one's emotional state, it's important to recognize the distinction from indifference, which can lead to detrimental consequences. Emotional detachment involves managing emotions wisely and compassionately, allowing individuals to maintain stability and navigate challenges effectively. This ability is crucial for personal growth and maintaining mental well-being. On the other hand, indifference signifies a lack of emotional investment, not just in oneself, but also in others. When someone becomes indifferent, they may lose touch with their own feelings and fail to empathize with those around them. This can create barriers in relationships, making genuine connection difficult and leading to a sense of emotional isolation. In professional settings, indifference can manifest as apathy towards colleagues or tasks, resulting in superficial interactions and decreased productivity. Moreover, indifference can spread beyond individual relationships to impact broader societal dynamics. When people are indifferent to social issues or the feelings of others, it can contribute to a culture of neglect and insensitivity. This can undermine efforts towards collective well-being and societal harmony. Therefore, while emotional detachment can be a healthy coping mechanism, indifference poses significant risks. It erodes the fabric of meaningful relationships, replacing deep connections with superficial exchanges. It also impedes personal growth by discouraging emotional introspection and self-awareness. Recognizing these nuances is essential for cultivating a fulfilling emotional life. It involves understanding when emotional detachment serves as a protective mechanism versus when indifference becomes a barrier to authentic emotional experiences. By embracing emotional detachment with mindfulness and compassion, individuals can navigate their emotions in a way that enhances personal resilience and supports genuine connections with others. The relationship between emotional detachment and self-esteem. Emotional detachment and self-esteem share a mutually reinforcing connection that enhances mental and emotional well-being. By learning to detach from negative emotions and self-critical thoughts, individuals can cultivate a positive and resilient self-image, fostering a sense of self-worth that is strong and self-sustaining. Emotional detachment involves freeing oneself from the grip of self-criticism and external pressures that often distort our self-perception. Through detachment, we begin to view our flaws and imperfections with greater compassion and less judgment. This healthy distance allows us to focus on personal growth and build a self-image grounded in our own values and accomplishments, rather than conforming to external standards or judgments. By detaching from internal criticisms and negative emotions, we create room for genuine self-acceptance. This state of acceptance enables us to recognize our inherent dignity and worth, independent of external circumstances or others' opinions. As we nurture this perspective, our self-confidence grows, providing a stable foundation upon which to cultivate enduring self-esteem. Practicing emotional detachment also empowers us to liberate ourselves from external expectations, which often lead to stress and dissatisfaction. 
by prioritizing our personal growth and aspirations over meeting others' demands, we align our actions with our true desires. This alignment fosters a sense of fulfillment and reinforces our self-esteem as we measure our worth based on our own achievements and values. Moreover, emotional detachment equips us to face challenges and setbacks with greater resilience and self-compassion. When we are not overwhelmed by self-criticism and negative emotions, we approach difficulties with a constructive mindset. This resilience is crucial for nurturing healthy self-esteem as it enables us to learn from experiences and grow stronger through adversity. In essence, emotional detachment plays a pivotal role in cultivating and sustaining robust self-esteem. By releasing internal criticisms and external pressures, we create space for authentic self-acceptance and personal development. This practice empowers us to recognize our inherent value and dignity, reinforcing our self-assurance and fostering a deep sense of personal fulfillment. As we embrace emotional detachment, we empower ourselves to live authentically and compassionately, creating a life that reflects our core values and aspirations. Techniques for developing emotional detachment. Emotional detachment is a valuable skill that can be cultivated through practical techniques, promoting emotional balance and overall well-being. Below are effective methods to develop and maintain emotional detachment. Mindfulness and meditation are powerful practices that offer profound benefits for our mental and emotional well-being. Engaging in mindfulness involves paying deliberate attention to the present moment, cultivating a state of heightened awareness and acceptance of our thoughts, feelings and sensations without passing judgment on them. This practice originates from Buddhist traditions, but has been adapted and embraced in various forms across cultures and contexts worldwide. One of the core aspects of mindfulness is its ability to enhance mental clarity and tranquility. By training ourselves to be fully present in each moment, we can observe our thoughts as they arise and pass away without getting caught up in them. This awareness allows us to step back from automatic reactions and habitual patterns of thinking, which often lead to stress and anxiety. Meditation, on the other hand, is a specific practice within the broader spectrum of mindfulness. It typically involves sitting quietly and focusing attention inward, often on the breath or a mantra. Through consistent practice, meditation helps cultivate a calm and stable mind. Research has shown that regular meditation can lead to structural changes in the brain, including increased gray matter density in areas associated with emotional regulation and attention. One significant benefit of mindfulness and meditation is their impact on emotional regulation. The prefrontal cortex, responsible for executive functions such as decision-making and emotional regulation, strengthens its connections with the limbic system which governs emotions. This strengthened connection enables individuals to regulate their emotions more effectively, responding to situations with greater clarity and resilience rather than reacting impulsively. Moreover, mindfulness and meditation are not limited to formal practice sessions. They encourage a way of being that can be integrated into daily life. Simple practices such as mindful breathing, body scan meditations, or mindful eating can be incorporated into everyday routines, enhancing overall awareness and reducing stress. In contemporary psychology and neuroscience, mindfulness-based interventions have gained recognition for their therapeutic benefits in treating various mental health conditions. From reducing symptoms of anxiety and depression to improving attention and cognitive function, the evidence supporting the efficacy of mindfulness continues to grow. Beyond individual benefits, mindfulness practices have also shown promise in enhancing interpersonal relationships and fostering a greater sense of compassion and empathy. When we are more aware of our own thoughts and emotions, we become more attuned to the experiences of others, improving our ability to listen and communicate effectively. Cognitive Behavioural Therapy 
CBT, offers a robust framework of techniques designed to address and alleviate various psychological challenges by focusing on the relationship between thoughts, emotions, and behaviors. One of its key strategies involves identifying and challenging negative thought patterns that contribute to emotional distress. In the context of emotional detachment, CBT techniques such as cognitive restructuring play a pivotal role. Cognitive restructuring aims to transform negative or irrational thoughts into more balanced, realistic, or constructive ones. This process involves recognizing automatic thoughts, those quick, reflexive interpretations of situations, and examining their accuracy and helpfulness. By questioning the evidence for these thoughts and considering alternative perspectives, individuals can gain a clearer understanding of their emotions and reduce their intensity. Moreover, thought journaling is another effective tool in CBT for cultivating emotional detachment. Thought journaling involves keeping track of one's thoughts, emotions, and the situations that trigger them. This practice helps individuals become more aware of their thinking patterns and emotional responses. Over time, it enables them to identify recurring negative thoughts or cognitive distortions, such as catastrophizing, expecting the worst or black and white thinking, seeing things only as good or bad, which contribute to heightened emotional reactions. By consistently recording these thoughts and reflecting on them, individuals can begin to challenge and reframe them. This process is not about denying or suppressing emotions, but rather about developing a more balanced and rational perspective. For instance, someone prone to feeling overwhelmed by criticism might use thought journaling to uncover underlying beliefs like, I'm not good enough. Through CBT techniques, they can explore evidence to the contrary, such as past successes or constructive feedback, which can reduce the emotional impact of criticism. Furthermore, CBT encourages the practice of mindfulness, which involves being fully present and aware of one's thoughts, emotions, and sensations without judgment. Mindfulness techniques such as deep breathing exercises or body scans, help individuals observe their thoughts and feelings non-reactively. This awareness can prevent them from being swept away by intense emotions, fostering a sense of detachment and equanimity. In addition to these techniques, behavioral experiments are often employed in CBT to test the validity of one's beliefs and assumptions. This involves deliberately engaging in new behaviors or approaching situations differently to gather evidence that challenges existing negative thoughts. For example, someone who fears social rejection might experiment with initiating conversations in social settings to gather evidence that not everyone will reject them. Overall, cognitive behavioral techniques, including cognitive restructuring, thought journaling, mindfulness practices, and behavioral experiments provide individuals with practical tools to cultivate emotional detachment. By understanding and challenging their thought patterns, exploring alternative perspectives, and engaging in deliberate behavioral changes, individuals can develop greater resilience to emotional distress and achieve a more balanced emotional state. These techniques are not quick fixes, but rather skills that with practice and persistence can lead to lasting emotional well-being an improved overall quality of life. Emotional regulation strategies are crucial tools for cultivating emotional detachment and maintaining psychological well-being. These techniques empower individuals to effectively manage their emotions, thereby fostering resilience and enhancing overall mental health. Deep breathing. One of the simplest yet most effective techniques Deep breathing involves taking slow, deliberate breaths. This method activates the body's relaxation response, reducing the physiological symptoms of stress, such as increased heart rate and shallow breathing. By focusing on deep, rhythmic inhalations and exhalations, individuals can quickly alleviate feelings of anxiety or agitation. Progressive Muscle Relaxation, PMR, PMR is a technique that involves systematically tensing 
and then relaxing different muscle groups in the body. By intentionally tensing muscles and then releasing that tension, individuals learn to recognize and control the physical manifestations of stress. This practice not only promotes relaxation, but also heightens awareness of bodily sensations, aiding in the recognition of early signs of emotional distress. Visualization. Visualization techniques harness the power of imagination to promote emotional regulation. By mentally picturing a calm and peaceful scene or envisioning oneself successfully managing a challenging situation, individuals can evoke positive emotions and reduce anxiety. Visualization can also be used to mentally rehearse desired outcomes or responses, preparing individuals to face difficult emotions with greater resilience and composure. Mindfulness Meditation Mindfulness involves maintaining a present moment awareness of thoughts, feelings, bodily sensations and the surrounding environment without judgment. Regular mindfulness meditation practice enhances emotional regulation by increasing self-awareness and acceptance of emotions as they arise. This non-reactive approach enables individuals to observe their emotions without becoming overwhelmed or controlled by them, fostering a balanced and compassionate response to challenging situations. Cognitive restructuring. Cognitive restructuring techniques involve identifying and challenging negative or distorted thought patterns that contribute to intense emotional reactions. By examining the accuracy and validity of these thoughts, Individuals can replace them with more balanced and realistic perspectives. This process helps to diminish the emotional intensity associated with triggering events and promotes a more adaptive and constructive response. Engaging in physical activity. Physical exercise is not only beneficial for physical health, but also plays a crucial role in emotional regulation. Exercise releases endorphins, neurotransmitters that promote feelings of well-being and reduce the perception of pain. Engaging in regular physical activity, whether through aerobic exercise, yoga or other forms of movement, can significantly alleviate stress, anxiety and depression, thereby enhancing emotional resilience. Seeking social support. Connecting with supportive friends, family members or a therapist can provide invaluable emotional regulation resources. Talking about emotions and receiving empathy and understanding from others can help individuals process difficult feelings and gain perspective on their experiences. Social support networks also offer opportunities for validation and encouragement, reinforcing individuals' ability to manage emotions effectively. Setting boundaries. Establishing clear boundaries in relationships and daily routines is essential for emotional regulation. Boundaries define acceptable behaviours, responsibilities and limits, reducing the likelihood of emotional overwhelm or burnout. By asserting and maintaining boundaries, individuals protect their emotional well-being and cultivate healthier, more fulfilling relationships. Practicing self-care. Self-care encompasses activities and practices that prioritize physical, emotional and mental well-being. Engaging in regular self-care routines, such as adequate sleep, healthy nutrition and hobbies that bring joy and relaxation, supports emotional regulation by replenishing energy levels and promoting a sense of fulfillment. Prioritizing self-care activities fosters resilience and equips individuals with the capacity to manage stressors effectively. Journaling. Writing about thoughts, emotions and experiences in a journal can be a therapeutic tool for emotional regulation. Journaling encourages self-reflection and introspection, facilitating the processing and expression of emotions in a safe and private manner. By documenting emotional responses and identifying patterns or triggers, Individuals can gain insight into their emotional experiences and develop strategies for managing them constructively. Setting boundaries is not just a practical skill. It's a cornerstone of healthy relationships and emotional well-being. 
When we talk about setting boundaries, we're essentially defining what is acceptable and what isn't in our interactions with others. This clarity is crucial because it establishes mutual respect and protects both parties involved. In relationships, whether they are personal or professional, boundaries serve several vital purposes. They define the limits of our emotional availability, time, energy, and even physical space. By setting these limits, we communicate our needs and expectations clearly, which helps prevent misunderstandings and resentment. Healthy boundaries also act as a defense against emotional manipulation or exploitation. They prevent us from taking on responsibilities or emotions that aren't ours to bear, maintaining a healthy separation between our own feelings and those of others. This separation is essential because it allows each individual to maintain their autonomy and self-respect within the relationship. Without clear boundaries, relationships can quickly become suffocating or overwhelming. Enmeshment, where one person's emotions and issues dominate the dynamic, is a common pitfall. This can lead to a loss of individual identity and a sense of being constantly drained or burdened by the needs of others. Establishing boundaries requires self-awareness and assertiveness. It involves recognizing our own limits and communicating them effectively to others. This doesn't mean shutting people out or being rigid. Instead, it means finding a balance between being compassionate and being clear about what is acceptable behavior. Here are some practical steps to establishing and maintaining healthy boundaries. Self-reflection. Take time to understand your own feelings, needs, and limits. What makes you comfortable or uncomfortable in different relationships or situations? Identify boundaries. Determine what behaviors, actions, or demands are acceptable to you and which ones are not. This could range from how much time you spend with someone to what topics are off limits in conversation. Communicate clearly. When setting boundaries, be direct and specific. Use I statements to express how you feel and what you need. For example, I feel overwhelmed when you criticize me in front of others. I need us to discuss issues privately. Be assertive. Stand firm in upholding your boundaries. It's natural for others to test them, especially if they are used to different dynamics. Respectfully but firmly reinforce your limits. Listen to others. Just as you set boundaries for yourself, respect the boundaries that others set for themselves. Healthy relationships are built on mutual respect and understanding. Adjust as necessary. Boundaries may need to evolve over time as relationships change or circumstances shift. Regularly reassess what's working and what isn't. Seek support. If you're struggling to establish or maintain boundaries, Consider seeking guidance from a trusted friend, family member or therapist. They can offer perspective and encouragement. Self-reflection and journaling are powerful tools for personal growth and emotional well-being. They provide a structured way to explore our inner thoughts, emotions and experiences, helping us gain deeper insights into ourselves and our relationships with others. Benefits of self-reflection and journaling Emotional processing. Regular self-reflection and journaling help us process complex emotions. When we write about our experiences and feelings, we externalize them from our minds onto paper, which can make them easier to comprehend and manage. This process allows us to identify patterns in our emotions and behaviors, leading to greater self-awareness. Clarity and perspective. Writing about our thoughts and experiences can bring clarity to situations that may seem confusing or overwhelming. Journaling provides a space where we can untangle our thoughts, gain perspective, and make sense of our reactions. This clarity enables us to make more informed decisions and take constructive actions in our lives. Emotional detachment. Journaling facilitates emotional detachment by creating a structured way to examine our feelings objectively. When we write about challenging experiences or conflicts, 
we can analyze them from a distance, which reduces the intensity of our emotional reactions. This process promotes a more balanced perspective and helps us navigate difficult emotions more effectively. Insight and growth. Through self-reflection and journaling, we gain valuable insights into our beliefs, values, and motivations. We can explore our strengths and areas for improvement, fostering personal growth and development. By documenting our progress over time, we can track changes in our perspectives and behaviors, celebrating achievements and learning from setbacks. Stress reduction. Writing about our feelings and experiences can be a therapeutic outlet for stress. It allows us to release pent-up emotions and worries, reducing their impact on our mental and physical well-being. Journaling can serve as a form of self-care, promoting relaxation and a sense of calm amidst life's challenges. Practical tips for effective self-reflection and journaling set aside. Regular time. Dedicate a specific time each day or week for journaling and self-reflection. Consistency helps establish a habit and encourages deeper exploration of thoughts and emotions. Create a safe space. Find a quiet and comfortable environment where you can freely express yourself without interruptions. This creates a conducive atmosphere for introspection and honest reflection. Use prompts and questions. If you're unsure where to start, consider using journaling prompts or questions to guide your writing. Reflect on significant events, your reactions, and what you've learned from them. Be honest and authentic. Write openly and honestly about your thoughts and feelings without judgment. Journaling is a private practice meant for self-discovery and growth, so embrace vulnerability and authenticity. Review and reflect. Periodically review your journal entries to identify recurring themes or patterns in your emotions and behaviours. Reflect on your progress and insights gained, celebrating achievements and identifying areas for further exploration. Seek support if needed. If you find yourself struggling with intense emotions or unresolved issues, consider seeking support from a therapist or counsellor. They can provide guidance and tools to help you navigate challenging emotions and promote healing. Practicing gratitude is not merely a fleeting emotion, but a powerful habit that can transform our outlook on life. At its core, cultivating gratitude involves intentionally shifting our focus from dwelling on negative emotions or circumstances to acknowledging and appreciating the positive aspects of our lives, no matter how small they may seem at times. When we practice gratitude regularly, whether through keeping a gratitude journal, expressing thanks to others, or simply taking moments to reflect on what we're grateful for, we train our minds to notice and cherish the good things around us. This deliberate act not only enhances our emotional well-being, but also rewires our brains to be more inclined towards positivity. One of the profound effects of practicing gratitude is its ability to diminish the impact of negativity. By consciously directing our attention towards gratitude, we create a buffer against stress, anxiety, and dissatisfaction. This doesn't mean ignoring challenges or denying difficulties. Rather, it empowers us to see beyond them and recognize the coexistence of both struggles and blessings in our lives. Moreover, Cultivating gratitude fosters a positive mindset that can ripple into various aspects of our lives. It enhances our relationships by encouraging us to appreciate the people around us and the contributions they make to our well-being. It also promotes resilience in the face of adversity, as it allows us to draw strength from the positive experiences and relationships we have cultivated. In practical terms, Integrating gratitude into daily life can take many forms. Keeping a gratitude journal where we write down things we are thankful for each day not only serves as a personal archive of positivity, but also reinforces the habit of noticing blessings. Expressing gratitude to others, whether through a heartfelt thank you note, a verbal acknowledgement or acts of kindness, strengthens social bonds and spreads positivity in our communities. 
Research has shown that practicing gratitude has tangible benefits for both mental and physical health. It can improve sleep quality, boost immune function, and even reduce symptoms of depression. These effects stem from the fundamental shift in perspective that gratitude facilitates. From focusing on what is lacking to appreciating what is present and valuable in our lives. Engaging in physical activity. Regular physical activity serves as a powerful tool for managing stress and enhancing overall well-being. When we exercise, our bodies release endorphins, which are neurotransmitters that promote feelings of happiness and reduce the perception of pain. This biochemical response not only uplifts our mood, but also helps in alleviating negative emotions such as anxiety and sadness. Activities like yoga, running, swimming or dancing are particularly effective in this regard, as they not only engage the body, but also promote mindfulness and relaxation. Moreover, engaging in physical activity can contribute to emotional detachment in a positive sense. By focusing on the physical sensations and movements involved in exercise, individuals can momentarily detach from stressful thoughts or overwhelming emotions. This break from the mental chatter allows for a clearer perspective and a more balanced emotional state. Over time, regular exercise can build resilience against stressors, making it easier to maintain emotional equilibrium in challenging situations. Seeking professional support. While physical activity can be immensely beneficial, some individuals may require additional support to cultivate emotional detachment and manage their emotions effectively. Seeking guidance from a therapist or counsellor can provide valuable insights and personalised strategies tailored to individual needs. Therapy offers a safe and confidential environment to explore and process emotions. A therapist can help individuals identify the root causes of emotional turmoil and develop healthy coping mechanisms. Techniques such as cognitive behavioral therapy, CBT, or mindfulness-based approaches can be particularly effective in promoting emotional detachment. CBT, for instance, helps individuals recognize and change negative thought patterns that contribute to emotional distress, thus fostering greater emotional resilience. Furthermore, Therapy sessions can serve as a source of emotional education, where individuals learn to differentiate between their thoughts and emotions. This clarity enables better self-regulation and reduces the tendency to become overwhelmed by intense feelings. By working with a therapist, individuals can cultivate skills for emotional detachment that extend beyond the therapy room, empowering them to navigate relationships and life challenges with greater ease and confidence. Incorporating these techniques into daily life is not merely a practice, but a transformative journey towards cultivating emotional detachment and enhancing overall mental and emotional well-being. These approaches are not isolated actions, but integral parts of a holistic approach to personal growth and resilience. Mindfulness and present moment awareness. One of the foundational pillars is mindfulness, the practice of being fully present in the moment without judgment. By observing thoughts and emotions as they arise, individuals develop a deeper understanding of their inner experiences. This awareness allows for a more conscious response to situations rather than reacting impulsively based on emotions. Over time, mindfulness fosters emotional detachment by creating space between stimulus and response, enabling individuals to navigate challenges with greater clarity and composure. Cognitive restructuring and reframing. Another powerful technique involves cognitive restructuring, which entails identifying and challenging negative thought patterns. By reframing situations in a more balanced and realistic light, individuals can reduce emotional intensity and gain perspective. This process not only cultivates emotional detachment from distressing thoughts, but also promotes a more positive outlook on life's challenges. As individuals practice cognitive restructuring, 
They develop resilience and adaptability, crucial attributes for maintaining emotional well-being. Emotional regulation and self-compassion. Effective emotional regulation skills are essential for managing intense emotions constructively. Techniques such as deep breathing, progressive muscle relaxation, or visualization can help individuals calm their nervous system and regain emotional balance. Additionally, cultivating self-compassion, being kind and understanding towards oneself in times of difficulty, fosters emotional resilience. Self-compassion involves treating oneself with the same kindness and support one would offer to a friend facing similar challenges, thereby reducing self-criticism and enhancing emotional well-being. Setting boundaries and prioritizing. Self-care. Establishing healthy boundaries is crucial for maintaining emotional detachment in interpersonal relationships and professional settings. Setting limits on time, energy and emotional investment helps prevent burnout and emotional exhaustion. Prioritizing self-care activities such as adequate sleep, regular exercise and engaging in hobbies promotes overall well-being. By honoring one's own needs and boundaries, individuals cultivate a sense of self-respect and empowerment, contributing to emotional detachment from external stresses. Seeking support and connection. Finally, fostering supportive relationships and seeking professional help when needed are integral to emotional well-being. Connecting with others who offer empathy, understanding and validation can provide perspective and emotional relief. Whether through friends, family or therapy, sharing experiences and emotions in a safe environment facilitates emotional processing and growth. Recognizing the value of social support networks encourages individuals to reach out during challenging times, reinforcing their emotional resilience and detachment. Practical Applications of Emotional Detachment Emotional detachment is a versatile practice that finds broad applications across various aspects of life, significantly enhancing our interactions and experiences. Below are specific ways in which emotional detachment can be applied in everyday life. Professional life. In the workplace, emotional detachment plays a crucial role in managing stress and maintaining a clear perspective amidst professional challenges. When we practice emotional detachment, we cultivate the ability to step back from intense emotions that may arise in high-pressure situations. This distance allows us to approach tasks and decision-making with greater objectivity and rationality. By not letting emotions cloud our judgment, we can make more informed choices that are based on facts rather than feelings. Moreover, emotional detachment fosters healthier relationships with colleagues and supervisors. By not getting overly involved in office politics or personal conflicts, we reduce the likelihood of misunderstandings and confrontations. Instead, we can focus on productive communication and collaboration, which are essential for teamwork and achieving common goals. This practice also helps us maintain professionalism and integrity in our interactions, as we are less likely to react impulsively or emotionally to challenging situations. Furthermore, emotional detachment in the workplace promotes resilience. It allows us to bounce back more quickly from setbacks or disappointments as we do not allow negative events to deeply affect our emotional well-being. This resilience is invaluable in fast-paced and competitive environments where the ability to adapt and stay focused under pressure can make a significant difference in our career progression. Personal Relationships in personal relationships, emotional detachment does not mean coldness or indifference. Instead, it enables us to strike a balance between empathy and self-preservation. It helps us set healthy boundaries and prevents us from becoming overly dependent on others for our happiness or validation. By maintaining a degree of emotional distance, we protect ourselves from being overly affected by the highs and lows of interpersonal dynamics. For example, in romantic relationships, emotional detachment allows individuals to maintain their individuality and autonomy while fostering a strong connection based on mutual respect and understanding. 
It prevents codependency and promotes a healthier level of emotional interdependence where both partners support each other without losing their sense of self. Similarly, in friendships, emotional detachment can prevent conflicts from escalating unnecessarily. It allows us to be supportive and empathetic without taking on the emotional burdens of others excessively. This way, we can offer genuine care and concern while respecting our own emotional boundaries and well-being. Self-care and well-being. On a personal level, emotional detachment is a vital aspect of self-care and mental well-being. It helps us manage stress and anxiety by not allowing negative thoughts or emotions to overwhelm us. Instead of getting caught up in rumination or worry, we can practice mindfulness and self-awareness, which are essential for maintaining emotional balance and inner peace. Moreover, emotional detachment supports resilience in the face of adversity. It enables us to face challenges with a composed and resilient attitude rather than being consumed by fear or despair. This resilience is crucial for overcoming obstacles and achieving personal growth and development. Furthermore, emotional detachment enhances our ability to make decisions that align with our long-term goals and values. By detaching from fleeting emotions or impulses, we can make choices that are grounded in reason and foresight. This applies to various aspects of life including career decisions, financial planning, and personal aspirations. In essence, emotional detachment is not about suppressing emotions or shutting oneself off from meaningful experiences. Instead, it is a practice that empowers individuals to navigate life's complexities with clarity, resilience, and authenticity. By cultivating emotional detachment, we can foster healthier relationships achieve professional success and prioritize our mental and emotional well-being in a balanced and sustainable manner. Personal Relationships In the realm of personal relationships, emotional detachment is often misunderstood. Contrary to popular belief, it doesn't imply coldness or indifference. Instead, it's about achieving a healthy balance between emotional involvement and rationality thereby fostering more stable and fulfilling connections. Authentic engagement. Emotional detachment allows individuals to engage authentically with their loved ones. When we're emotionally detached, we're better able to listen actively, understand perspectives without bias, and respond thoughtfully rather than react impulsively. This fosters deeper trust and mutual respect in relationships. Establishing healthy boundaries. One of the key benefits of emotional detachment is its role in setting and maintaining healthy boundaries. It enables individuals to recognize where their responsibilities and limits lie, preventing over-involvement or dependency in relationships. This boundary setting is crucial for preserving one's own mental and emotional well-being while supporting others effectively. Managing emotional responses. Emotional detachment involves managing emotional responses effectively. It doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but rather being aware of them and choosing how to express them constructively. This skill is vital in reducing misunderstandings and conflicts as it encourages empathy and understanding rather than escalation of disagreements. Appreciating others. By practicing emotional detachment, individuals learn to appreciate others as they are without trying to change or control them. This acceptance fosters healthier dynamics in relationships as it acknowledges and respects each person's individuality and autonomy. It also reduces the burden of unrealistic expectations that constrain relationships over time. Conflict prevention. In relationships, conflicts often arise from misunderstandings or emotional reactions. Emotional detachment helps in diffusing such situations by promoting clarity and rationality in communication. It allows individuals to address issues calmly and constructively, seeking solutions rather than exacerbating tensions. In essence, emotional detachment in personal relationships 
is about achieving a balanced emotional state where empathy and compassion coexist with rationality and self-awareness. It enhances the quality of relationships by promoting mutual understanding, respect, and genuine connection. Parenting. Emotional detachment is equally crucial in the context of parenting. Effective parenting requires caregivers to manage their own emotions while nurturing their children's emotional development. Here's how emotional detachment plays a positive role. Balanced approach. Parenting can be emotionally intense, with highs and lows that can impact decision-making and interactions with children. Emotional detachment helps parents maintain a balanced approach where they respond to their children's needs with patience, consistency and understanding. Managing stress. Parenthood often comes with stresses that can affect parental responses. Emotional detachment involves managing stress effectively, preventing it from influencing interactions with children negatively. This skill allows parents to stay calm and composed, providing a stable environment that supports children's emotional security. Teaching emotional regulation. Children learn a great deal from observing their parents. When parents practice emotional detachment, they demonstrate healthy emotional regulation skills. Children learn that it's okay to feel emotions, but also learn how to manage them constructively leading to better emotional resilience and coping strategies. Encouraging independence. Emotional detachment encourages children's independence and autonomy. By allowing children to experience their own emotions and make decisions within safe boundaries, parents foster self-confidence and self-reliance. This approach empowers children to develop a strong sense of identity and responsibility over time. Building trust. A parent who practices emotional detachment builds trust with their children. Children feel secure knowing that their parent can handle difficult emotions and situations calmly. This trust forms the foundation of a positive parent-child relationship where open communication and mutual respect thrive. In summary, emotional detachment in parenting isn't about detachment from the child but rather detachment from overwhelming emotions that can cloud judgment or hinder effective caregiving. It promotes a nurturing environment where children can flourish emotionally, socially and intellectually. By integrating emotional detachment into personal relationships and parenting, individuals can cultivate healthier, more fulfilling connections and contribute to the emotional well-being and development of themselves and their loved ones self-care and well-being. In the realm of self-care, emotional detachment stands as a cornerstone promoting a balanced approach to personal growth and well-being. It involves the skillful management of emotional responses, thereby reducing the impact of negativity on our mental and physical health. Rather than being indifferent or aloof, emotional detachment encourages a mindful and deliberate disengagement from overwhelming emotions that may cloud judgment or hinder personal progress. The essence of emotional detachment lies in fostering inner peace and tranquility amidst life's challenges. By practicing detachment, individuals can gain a clearer perspective on their circumstances, allowing them to respond to situations with greater clarity and resilience. This clarity not only enhances decision-making, but also supports emotional regulation, leading to a more stable and positive outlook on life. Furthermore, emotional detachment enables individuals to prioritize self-care activities that nourish their overall health. Whether through meditation, physical exercise, creative pursuits, or simply spending quality time alone, detachment from negativity creates space for activities that promote relaxation rejuvenation and personal fulfillment. This intentional self-care regimen contributes significantly to enhancing one's quality of life and sustaining long-term well-being. Conflict resolution. When navigating conflicts, 
emotional detachment equips individuals with valuable tools to approach disputes calmly and rationally. Rather than reacting impulsively based on intense emotions, detachment encourages a measured and thoughtful response rooted in objective assessment and understanding. This ability to separate oneself from immediate emotional reactions fosters a conducive environment for effective conflict resolution. In practical terms, emotional detachment during conflict resolution involves stepping back from the heat of the moment to analyze the underlying issues and interests at stake. It encourages active listening and empathetic understanding of the perspectives of all parties involved, which are crucial for reaching mutually acceptable solutions. By prioritizing clarity and composure over emotional reactivity, individuals can facilitate constructive dialogue and negotiation, thereby promoting harmony and cooperation. Moreover, emotional detachment mitigates the risk of escalating conflicts by preventing the perpetuation of anger, resentment or hostility. Instead of perpetuating a cycle of discord, Detachment encourages individuals to focus on common ground and shared goals, fostering a collaborative approach to resolving differences. This approach not only strengthens relationships, but also cultivates a culture of respect and trust, essential for maintaining positive interactions in personal and professional settings. In essence, whether in the realm of self-care or conflict resolution, Emotional detachment serves as a transformative practice that empowers individuals to navigate life's challenges with grace and resilience. By mastering the art of detachment, individuals can foster inner peace, promote well-being, and build healthier and more harmonious relationships with others. Emotional detachment plays a crucial role in various aspects of our lives, particularly in decision-making and dealing with adversity. It involves the ability to manage our emotions effectively, allowing us to make informed choices and navigate challenges with resilience. Decision-making. In the realm of decision-making, emotional detachment acts as a shield against impulsive reactions and biases. When faced with choices, whether personal or professional, our emotions can often cloud our judgment. For instance, the excitement of a new opportunity might make us overlook potential risks, or conversely, fear might prevent us from taking necessary risks for growth. By cultivating emotional detachment, individuals can step back from their immediate emotional responses and gain a more objective perspective. This detachment doesn't imply a lack of empathy or concern, but rather a disciplined approach to evaluating situations calmly and rationally. It allows us to consider all factors involved, including long-term consequences, before making a decision. This approach significantly enhances the quality of our choices, aligning them more closely with our values and long-term goals. In professional settings, leaders who practice emotional detachment are better equipped to handle complex decisions that impact their teams and organizations. They can weigh various perspectives impartially, fostering an environment where decisions are based on merit and strategic foresight rather than fleeting emotions. This not only boosts organizational effectiveness, but also builds trust and confidence among team members who rely on consistent and thoughtful leadership. Dealing with adversity, emotional detachment also serves as a powerful tool during times of adversity. Life is inherently unpredictable and challenges are inevitable. Whether facing setbacks in career, relationships, health, or other areas, emotional detachment enables individuals to maintain composure and resilience. When confronted with adversity, such as job loss, financial difficulties, or personal crises, our initial emotional reactions often include fear, frustration, or despair. While these emotions are natural and valid, Letting them overpower us can hinder our ability to find solutions and move forward constructively. Emotional detachment allows us to acknowledge these feelings without being consumed by them. It creates space for us to explore practical strategies for coping and problem solving. For example, 
Someone experiencing a setback in their career might initially feel devastated. However, by practicing emotional detachment, they can step back, assess the situation objectively, and identify actionable steps towards finding new opportunities or developing skills. This approach fosters resilience by shifting focus from dwelling on problems to actively seeking solutions. It also helps maintain a positive outlook, which is crucial for maintaining mental well-being during difficult times. In interpersonal relationships, emotional detachment can prevent conflicts from escalating unnecessarily. It encourages individuals to communicate calmly and empathetically, even in emotionally charged situations. By detaching from personal ego and emotional reactivity, people can engage in constructive dialogue, resolve conflicts more effectively, and nurture healthier relationships over the long term. In conclusion, emotional detachment is not about suppressing emotions or becoming indifferent. Rather, it is about managing emotions wisely. It empowers individuals to make sound decisions based on reason and foresight, rather than being swayed by fleeting emotions. Moreover, it equips us with the resilience needed to face adversity with courage and perseverance, fostering personal growth and well-being. By integrating emotional detachment into our lives, we enhance our ability to navigate the complexities of life with clarity, purpose and resilience. Applying emotional detachment in these areas enhances overall quality of life, fostering balance and well-being. This practice equips us with tools to navigate life's complexities with wisdom and compassion, enabling us to lead more fulfilling and meaningful lives.